Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer today. I have a very small Premier Yarns haul. <laughs> it's so small I couldn't even fit it back in the bag. They really really shoved it in there. These yarns I bought on clearance at PremierYarns.com. Um, I believe that they gave me I don't know if this was I don't think I don't think this the, I don't think this pricing that I have on here is what I paid for the yarn. I am not positive, but these were all on clearance for pretty good sale and they are all yarns that fall under the universal umbrella of the Premier Yarns company. You, Premier Yarns and um universe I almost said wisdom. Universal Yarns is the mother company to Premier Yarns. Universal Yarns is like the LYS um, level of yarns, and Premier Yarns is like the everyday, um, like regular, I wouldn't say, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like budget yarn, but it's it's like your everyday yarn. It's not yarns you're going to find in your LYS. The ones that I bought are the LYS labeled universal brand yarns so universal has universal yarns they carry fiber natura and they carry wisdom yarns which is what i purchased and the reason i purchased these is because i was gifted a gift card from um a lovely subscriber to this channel she is in the united kingdom she sent me a gift card to premier yarns and i purchased myself some clearance yarn with it because i was like let's let's just myself some clearance yarn so i have not tried most of these yarns i have tried one of them that i'm going to show you but i have not tried most of these so i wanted to give them a try these yarns are typically kind of expensive because they are the lys brand yarns um ooh, that feels unusual it feels weird <laughs> this is fibra natura whisper lace this was i don't know if it's still on clearance or if it's sold out this was on premier's clearance page for pretty pretty cheap whisper lace i think these were 3.99 and i'm pretty sure that these usually retail for like ten dollars i could be wrong on that but these are a lace weight yarn there's 440 yards 70 percent super wash 30 percent silk It's just so pretty. It's so pretty. I probably will hold these double. <laughs> I'll try to line up the colorway and hold them double just because of the way it feels. It's not rough, but it's it it feels weird. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I think it's my skin. I think it's um, my sensory issues. It feels weird to me. But I think if I'm going to use this, I'm going to hold it double together. It, you'll get the same effect mostly, but you'll have like a little bit thicker of yarn. It says hand wash, lay flat to dry. Uh, this is the color. Summer flies. Summer flies. Suit is beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. I'm not dissatisfied with it. It just has a weird, it has a weird. My fingertips are also a little bit tingly today. Um, but this yarn, oh, that is really taped. That is really taped. There we go. This yarn I have purchased before because uh, they had this in a, I think it was a mystery bag like uh, several years ago and I ended up with all white of this specific yarn <laughs> and it dyed up absolutely stunning beautiful. So I was like, I know that I like this. So I bought two of these. This is the Universal Yarns Bella Cash. This is a cashmere blend. I think this was $3.99 a ball, but this stuff usually retails for like $10 a ball. But when they had the um, the mystery bags, I got like, I think five for 15. <laughs> it might not even been that. It might've been five for 10. 
they had it for five for nine ninety nine. It doesn't matter. It was a really good deal because this this yarn is beautiful. Works up really nice. It is a soup sixty percent fine merino superwash wool, thirty percent nylon, ten percent cashmere. When you dye with this and then wash it, it plumps up like it just goes. It's just, it blooms. It's so beautiful. Um, so this color is. Where's this color? Tulip. It's just like a pinky purpley color. It's really pretty. It kind of would go with the outfit I'm wearing today. And if you guys remember, I went to the LYS store last week and picked up. <laughs> picked up this. Totally goes. And then this is a cashmere blend, baby cashmere, cash, cash merino that will absolutely go with this yarn so like when i went to the lys and i saw these yarns as i was saying before my camera so rudely cut me off battery died <laughs> when i went to my lys store i was aware that i purchased this like a day or two before the bella cash and so when I saw the baby merino, I was like, okay, I didn't remember what color I ordered of this. And so when I saw the baby merino, I was like, okay, or the baby cash merino, which is, this one is Debbie Bliss. It is 55% wool, 33% acrylic, 12% cashmere. So they're slightly different, but they could totally go together. And I knew that this color would go with whatever color I picked of this because I couldn't remember. And then when I got home... <laughs> With this and then this came in the mail. I was like, Oh, that was perfect. This totally looks good together. And this one is <coughs> 40 wool, 40 silk, 20 viscose. So, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but it will totally go together. We're gonna actually put those in a bag together so that when I put those away, they go together. And then I got because my intent is to make some more socks. I really, ooh, this feels good. I wanted to cast on some more socks. That one does not feel good, but it's really pretty. I wanted to buy, I want more socks. The pair of socks that I knit for myself, I've knit, I've knit a pair of um, sock weight yarn socks and I knit them way too big and they're very messed up because they were my first pair I ever knit. And then I knit my pair, I knit myself a pair of socks with worsted weight yarn and those don't fit in my shoes so those are like around the house like lounging socks and so i really i really want to force myself to cast on another pair of sock weight socks which i totally have some of the new fruit yarns in this bag which i'm going to do but i also before i knew about the fruit yarns they had these clearanced out on their website these are totally two totally separate different yarns one has wool one does not they are both from Wisdom Yarns. We have Wisdom Picks and Wisdom Allegro. I have some more of these style sock yarns I bought in man colors because I was going to make Mr. Cinnamon pair of socks, which I never got around to making him sock weight socks. <laughs> I made him also a pair of um, worsted weight socks. He really likes them, but I really would like to make like regular socks, you know, so... I saw this color and I just fell in love with this colorway. Like, how fun would it be to have these colors on your feet? Like, or make mittens out of this. I just, it, it's just beautiful. It is very wooly. This one is marked on my tag as, this is the Pix. This says that it was $6.99, but it's a pretty big ball. Like, I can probably get two pair of socks out of this. It is, because I just make shorty socks. I don't make, like, big socks. Uh, it's 459 yards. It is super fine. It is 75% super wash, 25% nylon, machine wash, dry flat, made in Turkey. The color is tech new. Self-patterning yarn creates a fair aisle pattern. Absolutely stunning, stunning colors. Just beautiful. So I need it. I need these socks in my life. I really do. This one. It, that one feels very sock-like. 
it's rough wool. It's like got a toothiness to it. That is what I think of when I think of sock yarn. This is like, oh, this feels so good. This is the Wisdom Yarns, the Universal Yarns, Wisdom Yarn Allegro. It is wool-free sock yarn. So it is 470 yards. It is super fine. 93% acrylic, 7% PBT. And I have just learned with the new fruit yarns, the PBT is to help strengthen the acrylic to make it more durable for socks. Machine wash, tumble dry. So um, I have noticed with some of these... Uh, Oh, this one, this one does not do that. Some of the acrylic and PBT sock yarns are very, like, stretchy. And they're hard for me to work with. And I don't care for them. Um, this one does not do that. And this colorway is just beautiful. And even if, like, you don't want to make socks, that is perfectly cool. Sock yarn makes stunning, stunning shawls. Stunning. <laughs> I've made several shawls out of crocheting sock weight yarn and you can hold sock weight double together with another yarn so if you got two of these and held it together uh my favorite one of my favorite sock weight shawls that i ever done i've ever done i donated to where my sister used to work the um the retirement facility i held a sock weight yarn that was variegated like this with a strand of white sock yarn and it was just beautiful it was so drapey and soft and gorgeous and so if i don't make socks out of these which i really do want to make socks out of these the, this would make something totally beautiful and this yarn is soft and i'm regretting not buying more than one and this one was 4.99 i believe look at that color oh, that reminds me of the summer but yeah I like making myself socks because even though the socks that I made for myself are huge on my feet and the toe goes this way instead of that way on one of the pairs of socks because I messed them up. <laughs> I like wearing them because they're so big on my feet. Um, <laughs> they almost act like instead of a pair of socks that hug my feet, they act more like a shoe liner. So I leave them in my shoes because I, don't, I am a barefoot person. I love being barefoot. I go garden barefoot. I love the feeling of grass and dirt between my toes. I love the feeling of sand between my toes. So yes, I wash my feet a lot. That's probably why my feet are as dry as my hands. Um, <laughs> but I love being barefoot. I love either being barefoot or having just a pair of slippers on or sandals. Like I just like, I hate shoes. They're very restrictive. But there are instances where you have to go out in public and you have to put on tennis shoes, right? So what I do is I take my wool socks and I put them on my feet and then I slide them into my shoes. And then when I take my shoes off when I come home, the socks stay in my shoes. Because <laughs> they're so big on my feet. So that I know where my socks are the next time I need to put my shoes on. And because they're wool, they don't, they have a tendency not to smell. They don't get sweaty, stinky, gross. So that's why I want some more wool socks so that I have another pair of liners for my shoes. <laughs> I need shoe liners. They're not socks. They're shoe liners. But yeah. So, so stinking pretty. I am not dissatisfied at all. Even with this, I will probably hold that double together. But God, it's so pretty. And I totally have been drawn to this exact yarn from LYS stores. And it's been like, oh, that's kind of expensive. So when I found out clearance, I was like, I will pay clearance price for that. So that is it for today's... Oh, I'm out of tea. I'm really thirsty from talking. <laughs> That's really it I wanted to talk to you about for today's um, today's video, today's yarn haul. I was really excited. Like, check out Premier Yarns. I mean, Premier Yarns, I love their prices anyway. Like, I pay most times. I have no problem paying full price. I always do look for sales and, and coupons and all that good stuff too, but... I, ha I really like Premier Yarns that much that like I don't mind paying for it. It is the one place, the one yarn place that I don't, I personally don't mind paying full price. However, <laughs> this is a big however, um, I really like their clearance sales. They always have really amazing, amazing deep cut discounts on some of their yarns. It is not uncommon for them to do yarns three for five dollars or three for six dollars or five for ten dollars. And 
Granted, it might be like a colorway that they're discontinuing or they're not going to have the yarns anymore. And that may be the case with these yarns. But I have no regrets for paying $4 for socks this beautiful color. If that's what I make with this. I mean, that is just... And I cannot get over. It is so, so soft. If you've ever felt Premier Yarns um, Garden Yarn, this kind of feels like the Garden Yarn. Or a little bit like... Not quite, but a little bit like the Nordica. If you felt the Nordica, it is just really, really soft. Is it weird that I'm rubbing sock yarn on my face? Rest assured, when they become socks, they will not end up anywhere near my face. That's just weird. <laughs> they might. They might. I like yarn, okay? Just let me be alone with my yarn. <laughs> this one I'm not rubbing on my face, but this is so pretty. It's pretty. It's just not soft. It is very yucky feeling. But when I'm making socks like it, I don't mind. I don't mind the yucky feeling. Yarn that is um, itchy scratchy, I have a way easier time knitting with it than crocheting. Because I don't, I think when I'm crocheting, I am very much more all in touching every aspect of the project. Because I'm holding on to the project. It's running between my fingers. I. It's just, I'm touching the yarn way more when I crochet. Now, when I knit, it also run, I run it through my fingers the exact same way. However, I'm not holding the project. I'm holding the needles. So it's not rubbing like all the sensitive parts of my hands. So I think that's probably why like knitting with those kind of wools is way easier than crocheting because I would never in a million years crochet with this. Not gonna happen. <laughs> not gonna happen. But yeah, highly re recommend if you can get your hands on the Bella Cashmere. Just because, now I'm going to tell you, this is way softer than this, but when this is washed, it plumps, it plumps, and you will have such a beautiful, beautiful garment. It really does. It blooms when it gets wet, but if it gets too hot, it will also shrink, so keep that in mind. This is usually not my colors at all, but I don't mind that. I think that's pretty. So, with that being said, I'm going to let you go about your day. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope you have a beautiful day. We are still in the countdown to premiere week. So, lots and lots to talk about, lots to show you. I'm still working very diligently on tutorials and yarn reviews and all of that. And um, it's coming up a couple more days. All right, guys, I'll see you then. Bye.